Hello everyone, uh, this is attorney Ayhan Agmen. Today we are with you to talk about one of the latest actually news that we had this week. And we got a bunch of questions actually from our followers and they wanted to get some clarification about it. So we are here to discuss this with you. This week, President Donald Trump made a statement and comment about uh, uh, birthright citizenship of children who were born in the United States, but whose parents are either non-citizens or undocumented aliens. He actually uh, made a statement saying that he would like to end this birthright citizenship and it shouldn't be that way and then the people they just travel in the United States shouldn't you know have their children born here and get the citizenship or the people live here undocumented aliens who have kids here born those kids should not actually get the birthright citizenship main issue was actually uh, he was saying that he's looking into signing executive order to change this right whether than having the congress to act on it or any changes you know any amendment to constitution you can see that the public reaction was extensive actually to this announcement and you will see that some actually were supporting the president's comment about this and some actually were opposing if you look at the first sentence of the actually 14 amendment where it says that all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. Some argues that birthright citizenship for undocumented aliens isn't a right directly established by the 14th Amendment because of the phrase that it says subject to, to jurisdiction thereof. Because they're saying that well, this amendment contains two requirements. It's not one requirement. So one of the requirements here, they say the children have to be born here. And the second one it says is actually the person will be subject to complete jurisdiction of the United States. The other says that the 14th Amendment's plain language applies to anyone born in the United States soil. So there are a few exceptions which actually were outlined by the famous case, Wong Kim R case in 1898, where the Supreme Court made a decision and actually says the few exception uh, where it says children of the foreign diplomats or children born in the foreign ship or, you know, children were born during the invasion of by army. So those exceptions, you know, basically those kids will not get the citizenship by birth. The rest of the children were born will get this citizenship and they think that this right should not change the birth right so this should be only from the you know change to the amendment to constitution should be the only way resolving this so this is what we think the issue here is what's the really intention and the language of the 14th amendment with respect to its birth rights citizenship rights and the supreme court case Wong Kim Ark's decision and how it really apply to this. We can say that under the Immigration uh, and Nationality Act, U.S. citizenship is granted to any person born on United States soil and ultimately get the uh, right from the 14th Amendment of the American Constitution. We believe that any executive order actually over birthright citizenship would face uh, many legal challenges. So this is why we think resolving this birthright citizenship with the executive order would not be the smart or right way to do it. Either the president should get Congress involved with this or if there's an enough there should be a change in the constitution to allow this to see that whether the children of the undocumented aliens or non-citizens should get the birth rights or not should be actually resolved in a way not by the executive order. So this is why I would like to emphasize lastly that this is something that is going to create the many legal challenges and cases if there's any executive order really signed by the president. If there's any changes, we'll be glad to discuss with you. Thank you so much for your time and talk to you soon.